Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. Welcome to Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this module, I am going to demonstrate how you can implement component event in Lightning Aura component. Let's understand how we can implement component event. So this demonstration will be uh, creating three separate files. One will be component event. Second will be child component child lightning component and uh, third will be parent lightning component. So if you want to pass messages from child component to parent component, so we can use component event as a bris. So first I'm going to create component event file. So here you can see we have uh, an option lightning event. So you can create lightning event file from here. So I'm naming it as component event. This file is created, so I'm just closing this description file. And here you can see by default, it is showing type as application. So I am changing it to component and I'm removing this. So this way, uh, this Aura event tag is available here. Its type is component. So now here I can define some attributes. So this way, uh, basically I created this component event file. So this component event file is basically having two attributes, right? First one is masses and second one is label. So what will happen? Child component will be firing an event. So on fire of that event uh, from child component, values will be available into these masses and label attributes and uh, parent component will be handling that component event. So parent component can access these attributes values uh, so that uh, uh, that parent component can process these values, right? So now I'm going to create one lightning component. So I am naming it as child. So it will be our child component. Inside this child component, I'm going to register the event. So in my previous module, I uh, explained you four steps. So first to create a component event. So we already created it. Second step is to register the event in the child component or in the component uh, which will be firing the event, right? So we are on second step now. So I'm going to register the event. So here uh, I'm providing name as CMP event and type equals to C colon component event, right? So this component event that we created, I'm using it here, right? And this is the name uh, which we will be using in this component. So this way I registered the event, right? After registering the event, I'm going to create one attribute and naming it as message string and type is string. Then I'm creating one heading where I'm putting the text as component event notifier. So the component uh, which will be firing the event will be treated as notifier. And the component which will be handling that event will be known as handler. So here I'm going to create a UI input text, label equals to message, value equals to e dot message string. So uh, this variable is available here. So we are assigning its value into this input text. Then I'm creating UI button. Its label will be fire component event, then press equals to C dot fire component event. 
right? So, so uh, this way, uh, this child component is implemented and here uh, this input text and button are available. Those will be rendered on the UI. Now it's time to define this method fire component event. So I'm just opening the controller and relabeling this function as fire component event. So first step was to create the event. Second step was to register the event in the uh, component source component from where event will be fired. Now third step will be to fire the event. So to fire the event, you need to define this JavaScript controller. So here I'm creating variables. So component event equals to component dot get event and CMP event, right? So this CMP event uh, we created here. So we registered the event, uh, we registered this event and uh, with this name. So I'm using this name uh, like component dot get event. So this event information will be available in this component event variable. Now I'm creating one more variable named as massive string, then component dot get v dot masses string. So v dot masses string we created here as an attribute. So its value will be available here in this masses string. Now masses string equals to dollar a dot util. dot is empty message string then question mark no message passed and then colon message string right so this way uh, like we are just checking if this message string is empty so this no message passed will be assigned into this message string variable otherwise this message string will be assigned right now, after that, I'm going to use component event dot set params. So uh, our component event information is available in this component event variable. So I'm going to uh, set the parameters. So here you can see we have two attributes. So now I'm going to set the values into uh, in these two attributes. So here I'm going to write masses colon message string and uh, label colon custom label, right? So here you can pass any variable as well. So this way, uh, this component event parameters are set and it is ready to fire. So you can write component dot event and fire. So this way we just completed three steps. We uh, created the component event, we registered it in this component and in this components controller, we fired it. So wherever in the parent component, we are going to use this child component. So child component will be firing the event and the parent component will be able to handle those. And uh, parent component needs to implement the handler. And in that handler, we just need to fetch these values, which we have set here. So after uh, implementing these two uh, event and component, so now it's time to create one more lightning component and I'm naming it as parent. And in this parent component, I'm going to uh, use the child component. So just creating or attribute name equals to message from notifier type equals to string then or attribute name equals to event count type equals to integer and default value equals to zero Right, so this way uh, these two attributes are created.
now i am going to create aura handler name equals to cmp event right so here we provided this name cmp event so here you need to use this name and uh, you need to define the event name as component event so we created this uh, event so you need to use that and uh, then action so handle component event so this way we handled so this is our fourth step to handle the fired event so we fired the event from the uh, child component uh, from here and we are handling it uh, here in this component right so here i am writing component event handler so this is our component which is handling the event and here i am writing p tag and inside p tag i am writing v dot message from notifier one more p tag and here i am writing v dot event count and here i am writing c dot child so this way uh, this child component is the nested component of this parent component right so this way the component file is created and uh, whatever values will be available in this message from notifier and event count will be displayed on the ui so here uh, for separation purpose let's use this horizontal rule as well and now i am going to define the controller of this parent component so here in this controller i need to define this method so when this when the uh, uh, component event will be fired so uh, in the parent component we are just creating this handler so if that uh, event is handled so what you want to perform so that you need to define in the method so here i am going to uh, create a variable as messages then even dot get param messages so whenever uh, event is fired and you are trying to handle so event will be a, event information will be available in this event variable and through a get param you can have the uh, parameters so parameters are two messages and label so we are fetching those so messages will be stored in this messages and uh, label will be stored in this label variable then component dot set e dot message from notifier and message so this message dot uh, sorry v dot message from notifier this variable or this attribute is available here so it will be filled and it will be displayed here at line number 13 and uh, again component dot set v dot label equals to label right so here i'm just uh, copying it and pasting it and changing it to label now variable count equals to parsent component dot get v dot event count plus 1 so every time whenever this method will be executed so this count will be incremented and we are going to set it to event count right so this way uh, everything is implemented now so i'm just uh, going to recap so first we created this uh, component event file then we created child component and we registered that event then we created child components controller and we fired the event after uh, setting the parameters then we created parent component and we uh, uh, implemented this handler statement and uh, then in parent controller we just defined the method which is uh, bind with the handler now it's time to open the demo application so i'm just searching for demo application and uh, going to call this parent component so i am previewing it 
So here you can see above uh, these values are for parent uh, handler and these values are for child. So in child, we used a UI input text and UI button. So here, if I write something, so let's say I'm writing my name and clicking on this button. So here you can see my name is displayed Sanjay Gupta and count is one. Now, if I uh, put any other name and uh, click on this, so that name will be passed automatically and count is incremented as two. So this way, uh, this value uh, we are providing child component, but uh, on this button click event is firing and that's, that value is uh, like available in the parent component through that event, component event. So this way in uh, one of the previous module, I demoed you bounded and unbounded expression. So in the, in those expressions, like if you want to pass values from parent component to child component, so you can use those expressions. But if you want to pass message from child component to parent component, so uh, events uh, are the possible ways. Now it is not showing custom label. So let's check why it is not showing. Okay, uh, we just need to create that variable as well so that it can be stored. So I'm just creating that variable. Now I'm refreshing it again. So you can see along with this uh, parameter that we are passing from child to uh, parent, uh, it is showing this custom label as well. So why custom label? Because uh, in the child controller, we just passed uh, this static message only. If you want to pass uh, any variables value, so you can do that as well. So this way uh, I demonstrated you how uh, we can use component events to pass values from child component to the parent component. And always remember uh, component event works in a uh, parent to child hierarchy only. Thank you.